This video is brought to you by Facebook Gaming. We're building the world's gaming community. Join us and help shape a creator-first gaming platform where you can build your own community around the games you love to stream. As the gaming world rolls out titles to justify their expensive new-gen consoles, while they pretend it's actually possible to buy one, a brand new title will rise to kick the roguelike genre into the new century by making Metroid as ball-bustingly frustrating as possible. Returnal Experience the hellish eternal cycle of Returnal as Sony banks on the success of other games in the same genre but somehow recreates none of their charm foregoing the usual bright designs for a drab Geiger-esque sci-fi setting where you'll explore exotic and ever-changing biomes and shoot all of the wildlife with only a handful of different guns, almost no powers, and a metric ton of negative status effects in a roguelike design that forgets the fun part of roguelikes where every run feels new and different and ends up with a gameplay loop that's about as fun and fulfilling as slamming your face into a brick wall. But despite everything you'll still keep picking at like a gross scab, because we all have a brain disease we call being a gamer. Crash into the tentacle porn enthusiast world of Atropos and awaken as space explorer Selene, a middle-aged female protagonist, which would be more interesting if she wasn't literally Ripley, who sets off to find the origins of the white shadow signal and a way to escape the Groundhog's Day scenario she's trapped in by deciphering alien Twitter while the planet slowly unravels the boundaries of memory and sanity, which would be way more engaging if you weren't absolutely crapping yourself in anger and actively avoiding all the rooms with lore because you're trying to get back to where you died last until you finally beat the game and they pull the ghosts and goblins and put you right back to where you started again for a second time in a narrative that doesn't so much suck as basically not exist. Uh, you guys remember when Hades did this but good? No? After this game, I'm not sure I do either. Fire manically at the hordes of monsters Returnal throws at you as you frantically dodge the absurd amount of little balls and strain your fingers to not pull too hard on the trigger so you don't alt fire by accident. Then gather proficiency by not getting hit while you desperately hope that they'll drop a slightly better pea shooter and increase your stats with parasites and artifacts that all hit you with fun new penalties because basically everything you pick up gives you some new alien STD in gameplay mechanics that seem like they're punishing you for having the audacity to play their game. Eh, I guess $70 is a pretty good bargain if I'm gonna get f this hard! Run through the different layouts of the procedurally generated biomes that you'll become extremely familiar with as you come back to them for the millionth time as you hope there will be enough to survive the onslaught and get to the next boss room because none of the enemies respawn and none of the resources reset meaning sometimes the game just decides that you're going to have a real bad time, which feels particularly insulting as you get to the end of the game and the run starts stretching past the three-hour mark, especially since there's no way to save your game and come back to it, a feature that was in the original Rogue from 1985. Okay, look, I'm as desperate for PS5 games as the next guy, but can it not be a game that feels like you just lost your kid's college tuition on horse races? So stick your hand into that alien hole and get ready to curse your immortal existence all over again in a game where your experience is directly correlated to how much respect you have for yourself and your time that despite all of the next-gen glitz and glamour will never be able to overcome the fact that you could just be playing a good one of these starring endless suffering endless suffering endless suffering endless suffering endless suffering incremental progress Nope, it was endless suffering. And Jody Foster. Enter the Unfungion. You know, next time maybe we can just take out the game entirely and just have Sony call a guy to kick me in the scrotum and rearrange my living room. This video is brought to you by Facebook Gaming. Go live and start streaming the games you love. If someone stands in the way of true justice, you simply walk up behind them and stab them in the heart. Ayo, the pizza here. Well, I'll be a wall crawling webhead. You can't break my heart if I have no heart. The weight of my power is the weight of my pride.